Hey Michael, here we are in your beautiful 64 and a half convertible. I'm Alex, as everybody should know by now. These are your new belts. We're going to be installing these in the rear. We did not come factory with these, so we're installing them for you for the safety of your backseat occupants. And here's the step by step process MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Alright, so, again, this car had no rear seat belts in it, it being potentially because it's an early, that early of a model, somewhat of, well, yeah, it's an early production on Mustang, so, I mean, there's many factors as to why it wouldn't have it, but, again, in this day and age, with this car being what it is compared to some of the other vehicles that will be driving on the, road, on the road with, it does need rear seat belts. So, in light of that, uh, what I did is I used another vehicle we have here for reference that's another convertible. Uh, 66 to be exact and um, what I did is I measured from this seam point here measured in and it's about roughly six inches from this seam to here and then on the other car uh, the other belt was mounted two inches or actually no it was roughly two and a half inches uh, from here to the uh, transmission tunnel so I'm going to mark those with this first, making sure I know where the holes are going to be. Using the spring-loaded punch, I'll make a pilot, or I'll make a, uh, an indentation so that the drill is guided. And I'm going to use a smaller drill bit to make a small hole, and then I'll take our half-inch drill bit, which is what our installation kit calls for. And then what I'm going to do is install the bolt through, of course with the belt being appropriate where it is. Lock washer on one side, nice big fat washer here on the opposite side for the nut. Tighten it all down and you'll have nice new belts. Michael, so got the uh, female ends of uh, the belts mounted in the appropriate location. Again, I use the uh, other vehicle we have here for reference. These are mounted. These are going to sit over your seats like so. A little dirt on them. And I'm going to sit over your seats like so. Once everything's in, they'll have those. And in the previous video, I stated that the uh, male ends were mounted down here. I double checked because I wanted to make 100% sure. I wanted to make sure to measure once, or measure, measure twice, cut once, as they say. And so it doesn't mount here because I couldn't find any bolts to the floor. So I'm like, wait, I'm not looking at this hard enough. It mounts up here. And the only way to get to the other side of this piece here where it mounts is to pull off this interior corner panel piece. So therefore, I'm going to pull this piece off just to give myself access to it. It's not hard. It's just a little bit more time than I expected, but it's no big deal at all. I'll pull this off, get the hole drilled, get everything done, make sure nothing's going to be contacted when I drill the hole. Make the hole, get it mounted, put the back seat in, and your uh, seat belts will be, sorry, your seat belts will be installed, and your car will be that much safer for your back seat occupants. Core panel's off. Tell them with just two screws. This one, which goes below the window crank. And this stubby one that goes right here and is held on right there. So, just two screws, and you gotta peel back the wind lace here, and then it should pop right out, which it did. So, now that's done. I've measured. It's at a slight angle, but I've I was, I was able to eyeball it quite well, if I might add. And it's six and a half inches from this seam up here. So I already marked the hole there. So you just take this spring-loaded punch that Rudy has. And make sure you mark a good hole for this thing. And now you have a small pilot to where you can drill the hole and not have the drill walk all over the panel. And we'll go right through. I'll make the smaller pilot hole and then go to the size that we need, which is half inch. And then once that's in, it's as simple as locking it up, putting the belt on, uh, big massive washer on the inside, small uh, lock washer on the outside, tightening it down, putting the panel back, repeating the process on the opposite side, and then the back seat goes in and your seat belts are done. So, this is the bolt. Lock washes on this side, 
opposite side, this big wash is going on and that's what's going to hold it down, hold these seat belts down, it's what's going to make it safe. I have this same washer on the back of this, that, and the other one which I just finished. If you want to turn around and look at that, that is the appropriate mounting location for it as per what I looked at on my vehicle. So, I'll throw this thing on the back, take the nut, get it started, get it started, get the nut started on Michael's car. Okay, and then, These. Okay. Take that. And so you needed seat belts, right? Now you have them. So you don't have seat belts in the car. Mounted in the what would be stock locations for a later model, same body style. And now you can put somebody in the back and have no thoughts of they're not safe or anything like that. They're gonna be safe, Michael. They're gonna be safe. MustangMedic.com we take the frustration out of restoration.